Hey everybody, Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Alright, let's get back to Let's Play Chocobo's Racing. In this episode, we'll be going to, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, the White Mage will join us next, I think. I think. Or is it? Yeah. Cri Chapter 6, Crystal Clear. Chocobo and friends were getting kind of tired from all the traveling they'd done so far. Their new buddy, the Black Magician, silently led them to a village of mages and magicians. Here, Mysidia, Magician's Village. I don't know about you guys, but all this traveling is getting to me. Say, why don't we get someone to cast Cure on us to freshen us up a bit? Quick! <laughs> Looky there, she be a white mage. Just what you wanted, eh, Mog? Awesome! Excuse me. Wanna cast a Cure on us? Oh, who are you people? Where do you come from? Could it be that you are lost? Hubba hubba! What a babe! Que? Hmm? Have I met you somewhere before? Foreshadowing! Maybe for our next let's play! We's all tired from our journey. Would you be so kind as to cast a little of your magic and cure our fatigue please, Missy? No problem. Everybody hold out your arms. Hey, it sounds like she's talking to little kids. Like when a school nurse gives flu shots or something. Now, now, it's not going to hurt. So come on, show me your arms. Quit. Oh, you, all of you have magicite. Magicite? What? You were carrying them around without even knowing what they were? They are shards of magicite. Me here before. Magicite legendary crystal. So what? We all have a piece of some legend, eh? Yeah? Oh, shut up. You know I don't have one. Look, I have one too. Man, it's huge. Blimey, I bet that has an awfully good ability. There's a legend about these magicite shards. Tell me, I want to know about it. You sure seem greedy all of a sudden. I wonder if it's safe to tell the story to a person like you. My, aren't we direct? Please tell. We all want no legend. Hmm. Well, I guess all of you aren't as greedy as this little one. Quee! <laughs> hey, why don't we have a race at the Floating Gardens? If you win, I'll tell you the story. The Floating Gardens? Yup, it's an island in the sky on which the ancestors of, of Mysidia built hanging gardens. It's even got a road that we can race on. The magic stones of Minimize can be found on the road around the floating gardens. Here's something I want to point out. How come everything is built around racing in this world? These allow you to cast many, which makes your competitors shrink in size and slow down. Collecting and using two or three stones at once makes everyone become even smaller and slower. When you use three stones, you can even run over affected com competitors and flatten them. Picking on little guys is your style, huh? Ha! Huh, but I'm more worried about the altitude than your attitude. Don't tell me you're scared of heights. Why should you be? You have wings. What? Scared of heights? Well, I'll show you. But when we win, you're gonna tell us the legend, okay? Alright, alright, I promise. Quit! So here we go. Well, since we have our friend the Black Magician with us, we're gonna play as him. He has magic plus. Let's just go with Dash. Ah, damn it. 
missed it. What? Too many freaking curves. Ba <laughs> ah, dang, missed. Behold, I am the powerful black mage. Fear my power. Whoa, I totally missed that one. Nutter butters. As you get smaller, you slow down a little bit more. Ah, it wore off. <laughs> I'm hugging the freaking sides too much. <laughs> ah! That might be it. White Mage has the ability of Reflect, so, you know, if you cast a spell on her while she has it on, or is it, oh, good gravy, no, it's Protect, that's what it is. Yeah! Ha 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 ha, I won while I was tiny! I just realized something. We got back at Gobs pretty good. <laughs> Gobs. Oh, you were better than I thought. Well, let's hear the legend and don't spare the details. You promised, remember, Missy? Here we go. There are magicite shards scattered all over the world. It used to be one large magicite crystal. But people kept fighting each other over it. So the founder of Mesidia, the great magicite Ming Wu, I mean magician Ming Wu, broke the crystal into eight pieces. He then scattered the shards to the four winds. He did so to assure the latter the later restoration of Magicite Crystal. When all eight pieces are brought together again, so that means once those pieces are put back together again, the restored Magicite Crystal will become mine. It was because of people like you that the Magicite was originally broken into pieces, you know. Ah. Uh, I guess it can't be helped. I'll just have to join you guys. Queef! What? I have to take responsibility now that I've told you the legend. No way! You gotta be kidding me! I'm against it! But Mog, weren't you the one who wanted a girl in the group? Besides, don't you think it's better than a group full of blokes? Hey, Gads! How about the rest of you guys? <laughs> okay with me. Well, that decides it. Quee! I I'm not gonna stand for this. She treats me like a little- like I'm a little kid. I might look like a cute, adorable guy, but I'm really a respectable adult in the Moogle society. Plus, a majority decision is the basis of de democracy, so... Huh? Hey! You can't leave your leader behind! Wait for me! Heh, 
I'll just put up with this until I get my hands on that Madensite crystal. Until then, I'll use that white mage as much as I can. I said, wait already. I can't believe you're really leaving me behind. And so our gang finally got the heroine they dreamed about to join their quest. But where could the rest of them doggone Magisite shards be? Is Mog gonna get his paws on the Magisite crystal and take over the world? Tune in the same time next week for the next exciting episode of Chocobo Racing. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeehaw! Ugh. Not next week, folks. Today. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Either way, not next week. Okay, so... Next episode, we'll be, uh... Meeting up with... This, 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 this... Chubby Chocobo, I think. Yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Until then, until then.